Hey everybody, it's me, Noko Sim Farmer. Welcome to another episode of Gold Mining Yukon Valley. We are in full swing. I'm down here at our now wood pellet production plant and our crusher to make wood chips, getting everything loaded up here. And Andrew and Uber are up on top of the mountain, making it smaller. Um, so I'll hop up there in just a second to give uh, an overview of what they've got going on. And, um, yeah, I'm going to drop these right here right now. I should be able to just walk over here. And there they go. And let's take a look at the production. We have 29,000 liters out of 150,000 liters of wood. Making wood chips. Fantastic. 20,000 liters already. Cool. All right. Well, let's get uh, back up top and I'll get those guys in and we'll get started. Insurance. <laughs> All right. That worked. That worked really well. So uh, what I did is I, I took all the wood that we had down here and just loaded it in the trailer and then just piled it up. And now... I got the wood crusher put in. Whoa, 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 whoa. Got the wood crusher put in. And now I've just been moving it by the trailer load. And you can take an entire trailer load of wood, dump it on the trigger point for the um, wood crusher. Well, it's wood, it crushes everything. It also processes, like, dirt into other types of, like, it processes the different fill types that we have in the game to other types of products as well. So... I don't know if we can do something with tailings. I'll need to take a look. But that would be cool because then we can maybe do something with those tailings. I don't know. I believe they can be turned into stone and like crushed stone and things like that. Then I think this might, well, just pop in the production menu and take a look. See if that's, if that's got it going on. So we can just process wood chips and gold. Uh, <laughs> not exactly. We don't have that level of alchemy. We don't have that alchemist stone yet. I said it was a crusher, not an alchemist stone. <laughs> well, none of this is actually... I don't see tailings. So, okay, so incoming material can be stones, water, limestone, sand, or wood. And it produces lime. Iron ore must be from stones. Yeah. Uh, Iron ore would be gravel, cool. gold ore, copper ore, industrial sand places. So, yeah, we can do gold and copper ore probably out of limestone and stone. Yeah, I imagine. So, yeah, we should try. I mean, let, like at some point, let's just... Grab a bucket of limestone and throw it in the crusher. We'll need another one up here, though. I'm not going to haul it all the way down. I'm bringing you the uh, wood trailer, Uber. Cool. Just leave it like where all those trees are down. So your Kester Labs was acting finicky today? Well, they, you know, they they connect through the 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 Google Chat and Twitch Chat and Kicks and everybody else that they they work with uh, through their APIs and based upon their hey Ovex, yes, there's going to be an Uber Cam. We just needed uh, he just needs to get it up and running. Good to see you again, my friend. Um the hell is i saying i don't remember it should be up it's not let me know uh maybe i just need to get in there and uh oh holy hell i almost died <laughs> unloading Who would have only got hit by a 
giant fully loaded truck. Lo it's give me a weird air. Hang on. These won't load unless I cut them in half. Ah, uh, loading area is full. Got it. Okay. All right. Well, uh, I'd set the parking brake if it had one, but it doesn't. So I'll just turn the engine off. There you go, my friend. Sweet. Thank you. Yep. Oops. Okay, is that parking loading? Uh, no, but I'll get it here in just a second. Let me get the cam it. up and we'll be good to go. Das Uber stream. Stream offline. Hold on. It says live, but then it says stream offline. What's up with that? Let me restart OBS because I updated it and it might be making it weird. Oh, uh, making hangy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Right. Uber Cam incoming, OVEX 19. Thanks for the reminder. We got so excited about making money, I almost forgot about him. <gasps> almost. Gotcha. All right. We are now very good. I just need to get you full screen. Oh, and we're good. Yeah. Ubercam, activate. Hey, hey, dirt, baby. Love that FS Minor logo on the side. Make sure you get a nice, uh, a nice shot of that, Andrew, on yours. Make sure we, oh yeah, pimp FS Minor and the realistic gaming crew as much as we can because these are some fun mods. Yeah, they are. I haven't had this much fun playing, well, <laughs> farming simulator for a long time. Yeah, yeah. I agree. We're, we're farming gold, baby. That's what's happening. We're full on pay dirt. 142,000 liters of concentrate right now. Good problem to have in it. 71,000 71, liters of gold bars right now. So how many... Oh, God. How many liters did we sell last night? Or 360 night? for 5.9 million... 5.9 million dollars. A lot of money. Yeah. Well, we should money. be able to start making more. Oh, yeah. No yeah, money. Mo oh. Is this that model wood? What's that? Yeah. That model wood. yeah. B. As okay. in. We're good. Low. <laughs> I, I wasn't going there, but, you know, hey, wh whatever. Whatever lights your candle. <laughs> Sarah Jane. Or Norma Jean. You probably won't get that reference. Andrew. The reference is to an Elton John song called Candle in the Wind, which was about Marilyn oh, yeah. Monroe, a.k.a. Norma Jean Monroe. Yeah, and everybody even don't even know any of that. So, nope. yep, you're right. <clears throat> All right, gents, I'm going up top to see what's going on around this spire. Like Andrew said, we got to scope it out and start making a plan. So I got a 350 and I'm hill climbing with it. Sounds good. I don't know how fat it is, but maybe I would have used the big guys too. I don't know. 
Well, I don't know if we've it's... got we've got tiers of flatness, right? So I don't know if you can see where I'm at now. Mm-hmm. That's a tier above the harvester, which is a tier above a oh, tier right. below the um, area that we we've been working on that wall we've been working on. Mm-hmm. And then we've got this big area up top here. Honestly, should we chill down here for a little bit? Because, I mean, we're kind of getting close to that first tier yeah. where that harvester is. Matter of fact, we're, like, right up on it. Yeah, maybe I we should. Get to the road. Oh, like, let's make a, make a, like, our, our, our cutting arc to define where we're going to be working back into the mountain from. Right. I agree. Let's do that, Andrew. That makes sense. So keep what? going around. So keep going around that right side like we have been, mm-hmm. and 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 working alongside of the road and just you know. And what we want to do is we want to define the outer edge of where this thing's going to go. So gotcha. the the goal is is to try to keep the mountain level with the road and and the road's rising. So we're going to have to slope that going up to stay in tune with the road. Or maybe we you know it it rises a little bit and then it. It goes and then it rises a little bit and it goes versus one big steep. But, you know, whatever you think works best because you're probably going to be smoothing it out with the dozer anyway. Yeah, well, uh, I think I got I got a good little ways to go before I'm there, but it ain't going to be too much longer. Okay. And I'll I'll tackle it as I get there. Yep, that's fine. Which I may honestly, because really up there where it starts to like curve they're really it ain't that much taller or like it doesn't need to come down too too much for it to be even with the road so may just be able to smooth that out with the dozer without having to cut too much i don't know we'll figure it out mine everything yeah. The nests. So I think the best option, Andrew, I just drove up to where we've got the trailers parked up here and the truck and the mm-hmm. semis. I think the best option is to come up and start taking it down from up here. Okay. Just looking at it. And part of it's. Yeah, I think let me drive up here and see how we want to do this. Oop, that's not going to go up gravel, I don't, or stone. Is it going to get us there? Yeah, it'll work. this thing set to Uh uh-huh reset let's make that pay dirt please fall off the mountain now we need to be able to convey it down from here to there that would be the best way but I don't know how to do that
Timber! Oh, it fell on me. Oh, now it's sliding down the hill. Go, baby, go! Man, these loaders actually handle terrain a lot better than those Kamatsus did. Jeez. Which one's the 350s? The 994. Oh. It actually has a really good, uh, it actually got a pretty decent, um, whatchamacallit. Um. Yeah, whatever I'm trying to say. Got a decent thing. Yep. For some reason, I can't remember what I was trying to say. Fair enough. It'll happens come back to, to me. me. Happens to me all huh. the time, my friend. It'll come back to me eventually, hopefully. Right. At like 5.30 in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> when it doesn't even matter. Uh, where do I dump the trailer? Do I just dump it onto a loading zone? You said? Yeah. Dump it onto the loading zone and then walk over in front right of your... Where? Uh, where the uh, where the uh, exclamation point is yeah. and hit and it should say store wood and hit R and it'll load it in there and it just keeps on processing That's pretty awesome to cut these on the side and have them slide down the mountain towards the <laughs> harvester, the red harvester, the Komatsu that's down there. That's awesome. It slid all the way. Is it going to go all the way over the edge? No. That was pretty cool. Exclamation point! What again? Sorry. Uh, it should give you a a, a store wood store. trigger, like up in the upper left hand corner of your screen. It should say store wood, or if you're in your F1 menu, and hit R, and it should load the wood into the That's dealy bobber. Manage production point. Oh, you're in the wrong one. Uh, not the trick. Hang on. Let me come down there quick. I may have told you to go to the wrong spot. Uh, no, you're at the you're at the gear, right here, that guy. It should say there you go. Yep, and then boom, they're in. Nice. Grab this guy and throw him in there. You're too close together. Yeah, it's. So what happened was is I had the yarder set up too close to this, mm -hmm. and so I couldn't trigger it to take the wood because it was, it was constantly switching back and forth between the yarder, uh -huh. the yarder menu, and the, the menu for this thing. So it was a real uh -huh. pain. I was like super, I was, I was actually pissed. Like, what is going on? <laughs> So yeah, and I've still got oh, about a truckload of wood down here that we can. Could also load in there, but we need to get the stuff off the mountain first. So this can yep, sit down here. Turn the trailer back up. All right, 
Is there anything down here that needs to be up there? <coughs> I don't think so. And time to teleport back. Boo. All right. I don't think we can get any of that big equipment up there yet, so I'm going to take one of these Volvos. Lagtastic. Yep. Is that yarder still down there by the pond, Uber? Oh, uh, yes. All right. I oh, think I, I can that. set it to grab some of this stuff. Look at that mess of wood. Make a beaver happy. Hey, oh. I think I had a nice pile going. I hope it stayed. Oh, dude, it's 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 legit. It looks like giant toothpicks all stacked up, nice, ready for action. But I'm moving the yarder now, so that will remain intact. Here I come. Run. Mountain climbing. Oh, you can't climb sheer cliffs. There we go. Oh, oh. There we go. Had to get a good foothold. Yeah, we do. Are you getting a yarder menu? Uh, yes, I am. Yeah, if you want to yeah, call it up, here I'll, I'll I'll bring it up here. I'll bring it up, and then when you're ready, you can set the follow. Otherwise, it's just going to annoy you. switch up my attack now because I'm to the point where I am I'm going to be lower than the road if I keep going alright let me take a look and see how it's coming over there so I think what I'm going to have to do is alright to... that should be on you Uber or at Got least it. close alright cool um, I'm coming your way Andrew gonna be very tedious because I'm gonna have to continuously do that and then come with the dozer and smooth it out but it is what it is are you in lower mode right now yeah I have to because if I do flatten it's just gonna keep flattening to where I've been at and, it, and that's gonna put it lower than the road so what I'm gonna hmm. do is I'm gonna lower it like that and then I'm gonna take the smooth with the dozer and it'll smooth it up so it give, it, run. give it some slope and then if you run yep. the then if you run it at flatten it'll keep it level got it yep Got it. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, that's looking good. I mean... We'll give it a go. I may have to switch it up just because... But that's really the only way I know how to do it, I'd imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I trust well, you. We'll see. I trust we'll see you. see how it turns out. 
his ox, I'll redo it, you know? That's the magic of a uh, terraform, I'd say. Yeah. Something magical, at least. <laughs> Uh, there's a chance I won't be on Friday early. I don't know, though. You mean early? But you'll be on Friday normally or late? Like later. Okay. I won't be on Friday at all. Oh. <laughs> Fire. We, Fire. You're out of here. We might have... We might have a... Leave your pickaxe Night off. And drive home. Not at all. Try to get more players. <sighs> I'm going shopping. Coming to see you, Uber. Hi. What's up? I can swing, swing to your left. Got those sticky Nokian tires. That's how that works. I love cool details like that. Oh, I hate them. I hear that. Marisol I'm very cheap. proud of you. <laughs> cool. All right. Now, if I'm doing this correctly, you're not. I am. <laughs> Are you doing the? Yeah, I was using this the other day. That's how I pulled all the trees off here. Yeah. The game related. <laughs> so I actually had one of those. Oh, that has a maximum winch rope. Yes, it does. It's well, long snow yarder. I'll tell you that right now. So I know what I'll do. Whoa! There we go backed right off the edge but as always landed on my feet you know it's how I roll what can I say I would say he's a cat that's my wife <laughs> oh
Don't hit my stick. Alright, we'll try this again, hopefully with better success. Yes, OVEX-19, the Platinum expansion is definitely worth it. We wouldn't be able to do any of what we're doing right now. Like, this particular tractor that I'm in, this forestry tractor, is part of the Platinum expansion. It's the only way you can get it. So a lot of the forestry, things like the yarder, is all you need this platinum expansion to make them work so yeah I highly recommend the platinum expansion the year two expansion with things like the uh, things like carrot farming uh, I can't really say I'd recommend it would you uber I mean it wasn't it, it was fun for about eight hours yeah, and I then tedious and slow and they're yeah the only way we could really make it happen was with mods yeah. so we really weren't being true to the game uh, so yeah I, I would definitely go with the platinum expansion for sure highly recommend you hear that giants you really hate yourself and want to farm carrots for like eight hours straight yeah literally with without using modded unrealistic you know, I am going to reset the yarder because it's currently not doing us any good where it's at. It's working. Is it? Can you get it from here? Yeah. Oh, I good. Okay. 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 I didn't think it was getting yeah, I've been getting there from. Okay. Cool. Um, I need I'm, to be roughly where I am. Okay. I think. Let me do this then. So I got the painting figured out, I think. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go in that grass patch beside the road and like in between the road and the outline. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to have to smooth that. So we may just have to repaint some grass. All right. But that's the best way to move the road up as we go. I think. Right on. So early. Okay. Oh, so. Not the grass. No. Worst case scenario, we just paint some grass back down. My grass. Big grass guy, eh? Get off my lawn. <laughs> oh, does it pull it back automatically when I attach it? That winch? Oh, no, I guess it... Uh, no, you're supposed to have to walk up to it and pull. I stand next to it and it says, Control winch, K and M. I've got and the control winch too, but it doesn't seem to oh. be... It is, it is. It's oh, I can attach another tree. Hang on. Yeah, it's taking up slack right now. I can see it. Yeah, when you pull the line out all weird, it actually has a bunch of slack. And it's got to take all that out before it pulls. Works pretty well. Wait, do you have anything now? What up? It looks like I lost it. I got it. I'm pulling it now. Is it looked up to something? Uh, it, I thought it was. It doesn't appear to be. Wait. Nope. It's moving. It's moving ever so slowly. Cable's like in the ground. Oh, there it is. Did you get a stick? Yeah, I did. Okay. I think it was hung up and like shot down the hill. Here comes one at you. No, could we have a 350 not being used? What's that? Do we have a 350 that's not being used? Uh, we sure do. I'll bring it to you. Alright, that would be great. 
Well, we had a 350. I've got one, but didn't we have like three more? Yeah, I thought we had at least two. We had two more. I sold one. We have two. It's behind the other giant dump truck. Right over here. Where oh, are all the small I see it. Okay. Oh. Right here. Let's see. Incoming 350. You need me to do a little uh, work or you want to handle it? Uh, you can if you want. It's just scooping up a little bit of dirt that's accumulated on the side from where I'm flattening. It's not a lot, just a little bit on the side there. So, oh, I see what you got. Yep. Cleaning up the pay dirt droppings. Yeah. Oh, laggy lag lag. Yeah. Holy smokes. Bad. That, that lag hurt my feelings. And <laughs> <laughs> if you want to throw it in the little road I got there built. You can just, I'll skip it back up and throw it in the truck. Uh, I've hardly even got a full bucket. I don't know if I'm not coming at it from the right angle. But it's a weird little uh, angle on there. I'd imagine. Like a little groove at almost. There we go. Yeah. Hang on now. Got two little Fit loggies up on. my bucket. Get these out of the way right quick. All these to the side for now. out here and park it for now yep. yeah because I'm gonna I'm need it for sure a bucket's only half full so we can put a lot more in here if we need it okay yeah and I would say yeah if you can yeah you're already there shit that went quick I mean yeah we're already start gonna be making our curve back so we'll take this guy out I also Andrew I don't know if you heard it when uh, Uber and I were talking about this, but um, these trees that are right alongside the road up here, mm -hmm. we want to make sure we stay inside of them to keep enough boundary. That one I just cut, this one's just got cut. And I'll get that out of the way. Okay. So kind of the same thing we did over there at the lake, just stay inside the trees that are left. Yep. Yeah, just, you know, I don't know, maybe keep... <clears throat> I guess, you know what? Follow the rock. Okay. Take the rock out, but leave the grass if you can. I mean, you know, straighten it out. Obviously, you're going to take some yeah. of the grass, but try to leave as much grass between there as possible as we start to level out. And then I think I think that would be a good stopping point where then the two of us can start working on the upper top portion and bringing it down. Okay. But that gives well, us a good definition over here. Don't follow that. Follow your heart. <laughs> Okay, Captain Planet. <laughs> yeah, honestly, 
I mean, I'm taking minimal dirt out of here now. You know, oh god, maybe not anymore. That was a little more than minimal. I'm not gonna look. Don't look. I'm not looking. Let's just say uh, you can see the core. It's a little hot. Nice. Nice. You can probably only pick up one giant tree at a time. That's been my standard. I got two giant trees on here. Yeah? Yeah. What the hell? I'm just gonna send it. This just doesn't like me. Swung back and just about hit me in the face. Nice. Just about. Missed me by that much. Are we... Oh yeah, we're all the way up. There she goes. Love rock climbing on this game. It's awesome. It actually works pretty well. That would be a cool game. Why is there not a rock climbing game? I mean, there's games that you rock climb in, like Assassin's Creed, essentially, right? Uh, Horizon Forbidden Dawn, or Hidden Dawn, whatever the hell that was called. That game, right? That's cool. But, like, an actual climbing game, where, like, you camp out. Wanted... Yeah, that'd be cool. So, I've actually wanted to make a urban ex exploration game, so imagine, like breaking into a construction site and like climbing a you know, mm -hmm. 150 story skyscraper under construction that kind of thing cool legally stuff. we'll do it legally yeah all right it's time to bring this bad boy down the mountain
Man, I wish there was a way. I wish I knew how those those big conveyors worked. You know? Yeah. So we could go from up here to down there and just send it directly down. Have you scoured YouTube? I haven't. Have not taken the time to do so. Notice I it didn't bet. say I didn't have the time. I no, bet I you there's a tutorial. Probably. But all it takes is motivation. Right. Have it been properly motivated. They'll do that. <coughs> I believe I believe that operating a yarder is the most dangerous job there is in logging. I was gonna say this would probably actually be really dangerous in real life. Oh god, yeah. I mean had did you watch any of those logging shows, those like, you know, that when they were on? Like yeah, Discovery yeah. Channel. I mean, there's a couple times when some guys got seriously hurt from the yarder. Either, you know, a cable broke and hit them, um, which, I mean, that's no joke, man. A, a cable coming off on a, with a load like that, it could cut you in half. Oh, absolutely. Cables yeah. are messed the day up. So, all right. Oops. I'm contributing, I'm contributing. To the problem or the solution? Solution. Money. I bring pay dirt. And the fact that we can load these things from both sides is awesome. Let's get in there. Weasel my butt in. And la la. 200,000 pay dirts. In your face. Winning. Ovex, are you on PC or console? I say, assuming he's still with us. All right, you know what? These semis got to go. Yeah, they're probably in the way now. They're starting to be. I mean, I can work around them, but, you know. Mm -hmm. Just be better if we did the right thing, you know? We may have to trade this anthem in for another Winter Wolf. It's just got way more HPs. We're hauling big ass equipment now. B A E. Wanna take these down? Yeah, we'll just park them. Maybe down behind the... That was me, sorry. Got a little rambunctious. <laughs> I was excited. Threading the needle between these trees. Yeah, lag doesn't help when you're trying to navigate something like this through trees. Mm -hmm. Next thing you know, the tree's coming up through the middle of the deck. I'll put the... Oh, you should have put the, uh... Oh, we should try, like, a Knight Rider move. Where you got one of these trailers and you drop the, uh... Ramps on the back and I'll try to load onto it. <laughs> uh... At, like, 55 miles an hour, like, just like Knight Rider did. One of my old-school favorite shows. Oh, yeah. Good show, man. So, 
did I tell you I got uh, a Zeto Corso Competizione? It's a race game. No. Um, it was on sale for 10 bucks, so I bought it. Because, um, you know, I've got the steering wheel and the pedals. I do like to, to race a bit. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I was looking at the different, uh, like, dashboard faces for Sim Dashboard. And there's one for Kit. <laughs> it looks just like Kit. Oh, uh, yeah. I can remember those little flashlights. My buddy in high school had the back and forth red light on the front of his car. Oh, nice. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Yep. yep. Andrew's like, I don't know what the hell you old farts are talking about. <laughs> no, Kit, because that's in. They made that car in Rocket League, so I have that car. Right on. But I don't know like the backstory or anything on it. But I do. Uh, no, it's it it's a, like... it was a it was a, a hit TV show from the nineteen eighties, starring David Hasselhoff, and he played Michael Knight, a cop, who was killed in the line of duty on a deal go bad, but recruited by a secret agency, given a new face so he could combat crime anonymously. And he was given a supercar called Kit that had a brain in it and did silly things and argued with him all the time. Yep, talks to him. It's black and cool. Black it's a black cool Trans Am. Yep. A black 80s Trans Am. It was the only thing that sold 80s Trans Ams was that car. Because <laughs> the Trans Ams of the 80s sucked donkey balls. Yep. <laughs> And it's one of the reasons why Pontiac doesn't exist as a brand anymore. Mm -hmm. They tried to go for fuel economy. And the Pontiac Firebird and the Chevy Camaro were just the exact same car with different trim packages. But under underneath, they were the exact same car. They might have had different engine packages depending on whether you got the Pontiac or you got the Chevy. But... Mm -hmm. um, they it's like the Camaro had the better trim package and they had the IROC trim package they had a, a, and a better engine configuration with this IROC configuration which is basically kind of like a factory supercharged engine without it technically being supercharged but anyway some silly ass 80s technology but it was it, it was it was um, it, it was the better looking car and so nobody bought the Firebird, and it just kept being the demise. And then they took them off the market for a while because, oh, the gas guzzling mus muscle cars are, are no more. And when they dumbed them down to not being gas guzzling muscle cars that everybody loved, people stopped buying them. And, you know, then the, the, the next best thing that Pontiac came out with was the Aztec, which was a huge flop, their SUV market. And then they came out with the GTO, but that only lasted for about four years. And then they canned it because it, it just, it wasn't selling. That a grand yeah. damn. I hated that car. Oh my God. They were so problematic. Oh yeah, I think I had so many freaking issues. And, and it was all due to the fact that they were trying to kind of still stay within the fuel economy ranges. Hey, Nick Melvin, thanks for subscribing and liking. I appreciate you showing up. Welcome to our silly little stream. We're just talking old car chat and the demise of the Pontiac brand, among others, while we gold mine on the Yukon Valley map. Welcome to the channel. Do you play Farm Sim as well? Okay, you want to come uh, critique this over here and say if you like how this looks? Yeah, let me dump some money in the bank. Ah, PS5. That's where I started. Uh, I started on PS5, and then I learned about all these crazy mods like Terraform that allows us to do this. And uh, so I made the switch to PC. Anybody want to buy a used PS5 with a disc? It's beautiful. You just need to paint it to the road so it looks like the road. So it's going to be our new like entrance. Yeah. If Uber says it's good, it's good. I'm just going to keep what? dumping pay dirt. I thought you were talking to him. Uh, Uber, what would you say? 
Uh, looks good. You just need to paint in road to connect the, it to the road. That's going to be basically our new way out. Okay, so connect it to the main road. Yeah. Yeah, we'll loop right. it so we have to in, an, uh, blah, an exit and an entrance. Yep. So we right, just cool. it'll be a it'll be our it'll be the mining drive. Excuse me. I don't I don't know yet. Probably I've got to look at what the pricing is, but uh, I'll let you know. I think you can get a new one with a disc for like. 300 bucks or something like that so i've got to look at the cost effective this is it might even be easier to keep it that way i can play stellar blade well he wants to buy your PSO. maybe he's asking what i would sell it for i thought you already had a PSO. i do i'm, I'm thinking him. about selling oh no he might but yeah, hey you know, some people PSO. have more than one yeah go ahead you do your thing <laughs> I get consoles and everything you represent. I got one, one too many. This truck drives over anything. It's like spider truck. Spider truck. Which uh, one is that? The Volvo A60H. Our, our 200,000 liter truck. Oh, yeah. They're pretty sweet. Some of these mods are just badly optimized for actually driving on terrain. Yeah. Um, well, this 350, right. actually, I was impressed because I went to, there's a little plateau above where I'm working right now, and I went to drive up the rock. And, you know, these are big, hard rubber tires. They're not spongy and sticky on these things. And it was having a tough time. Like, it was spinning going up the rock face, mm -hmm. which is, you know, what I would expect it to do. Whoa! Speaking of Roch face. So the cool thing about the landscaping up here is that we kind of already have a good start on a spire already. Yeah, it's a funny little mountain. Okay, and you're running the 350s up there? Yeah. Right. Um, actually, now we might be able to bring a 994 up. I've got enough room here that we, yeah, we probably could. Right. If you're wrapping up over there, um, yeah, if you want to come up here with a 994 and an 830, we can, we'll get big time. Yeah, yeah. that'll work. Let me finish hey here. Nick, no problem. I appreciate it. Um, I'll try to have a uh, a sell price on the PS5 if I do end up selling it for you the next time you tune in. So I appreciate you liking and subscribing, and yeah, ring that reminder bell if you want to get notified when we go live again. I go live Monday through Friday, um, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. We do mining, and Tuesdays and Thursdays I do a single player. I'm doing some ranching on the Black Mountain Montana map. So. Hope to see you again soon, my friend. We're usually here creeping around. Usually creeping. Thank you, Nick. And welcome to our little crazy corner of the internet. Yeah. Yeah, we're ready to go big time up here. Sounds good. On the I'm way. Bring the, I'll bring the 60 down. bring that three well I'm gonna keep I'm gonna I'm gonna leave both of these smaller ones up there in case we need to get into a tighter spot up top but yeah anybody take a look at the concentrate level yet I'll go get it here in a second. Okay. Nope. I've been looking at the wood chips. Though. How's the wood chips? Okay. I'll go look. 
We got more logging to do. Getting pretty close. Nice. I could bring the logging truck down to you too to load up those logs. It's just sitting right up here. If you would prefer. Uh, those are piled up nicely by the yarder way down there, so we can actually yarder those all the way down. Okay, great. So that should be okay. With the what? Where the yarder's currently set, can you hit it? The big one, can you hit it from there to take those down? Do we need that second yarder? Oh, I guess no. We we do need the second yarder. We need to reset it because I disabled it. Yeah, this one is the only one set up. I think the yep. other one is just sitting down there. Yeah, I had to disable it because it was conflicting with uh, yeah, the wood fine. crusher. I forgot we'll about get everything that. Everything we can to this pile, and then we can start moving it all the way down. It's like a two-step process. Okay, no problem. Can you pretend like I got a plan? Best way. When in doubt, pretend it out. I'm bringing the other 994 around. Drop the tree. It was like catch the yarder and it just like let him go. It happens. Whoa, what weird collision did I just hit? That was wild. Ooh, this thing doesn't like inclines at all. Not particularly. I got it. I got the pedal floored, and I'm just creeping along. I went up the other way, which was even slower, but we're up here. We're here now, dang it. Lighting on something. Ah, uh, the bucket scraping the ground. That's what it was. Like the bottom of the bucket. Okay. All right. Uh, Muffle. I think it looks full. I think it is. Let me hop in quick. Yep, she's full. Um, here, hop up top. I'll take this down and dump okay. it and bring another one up. I'll hop up top here. I want to show you something. I put a paint mark right here. Right here. This dirt mark. Mm -hmm. Let's let's make sure we leave this like so for from here to the right, we'll leave this as the spire. Okay. So actually, I'm, I there. I'm gonna paint it down. Yeah. Yeah, um, yep, that's a good idea. I'll bring this eight thirty down. Okay, you're going to take her down and get it dumping? Yep, yep. All right. If you want to come down after and grab another one. Yep, I certainly will. will. Let's do some painting. We'll, run. we'll get this going. We'll make that happen. And we're going to come right. Preferably. On the Yeah, I think that'll work as kind of a guide for now. Whoa! Almost drove into the pond with an 830. That would have been tough to pull out. This thing drives like a. This thing drives awesomely. Yeah, it does. Eight thirty. 
Oops, got a little tight on that one. Got hung up on a tree. Too bad it doesn't snap them off, because that's what it would do in real life, man. <laughs> it would snap these spruces like a flippin' twig. Okay, so we're gonna do... I love on these 994s when you first start them up how you have to listen for the uh, hydraulics to like fill up. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's pretty cool. Like, Mind your way here that, or is this fun? Uh, I was, why don't you just park? I was going to take the, well, just bring that in and park it behind this one. Okay. And then I was going to take the other one and park it in front of that one. And then we could just dump into the two of them and then pull them out when they're ready to go. Yeah, that sounds good. Just toss so. it. Oh, my controller disconnected. Do you want to pull up beside this other one, or just pull it right behind it? Uh, let's back up into it. Back up a little okay. bit, so we can we don't we have some room to turn okay. around. Oh, yeah. Leg. I mean, I think that's good. I don't want you too far down the mountain there. Let's get get you more level. So yeah, pull right up behind Honestly, me. Honestly, I think if I pull beside you, we can just load from the back or the side. Oh, uh, like okay. Will this work? Yeah, let's put let's them right this. side by side. Yep, and then we'll just load them from the back. All right. Then when one fills up, we just take it on. I think that'll work. Maybe, hopefully. I think it will as well. Oh, we got to get the baby toys out of the way, though. <laughs> this A60 and the 350 are blocking us. You know what? What? This tree's got to go. Which one? That one. I'm working on it. Hit 47 trees in the process. Boom. <laughs> Gotta give it a good one every now and then. 
for me every single time, but you know. For safety. Yeah. I don't think this thing has any safety beacons. Or, er, yeah, beacons. You need a beacon to call out when coming at you. You got some problems. Yeah. I'd say so. I think we full. Yeah, it only holds three buckets, right? Yep. Well, those trees went down fast. Yeah, we need truck drivers now. Yeah. Yeah, that would be nice. All right. Calling all farm simming PC players. We have five more slots open on this multiplayer server. Come join us. All right, there. get paid a rate of zero dollars IRO cash but we get to make IRO or in-game money we make we make mad in-game cash though right mad oh, uh, in-game well, cash unfortunate <laughs> I think large. are you damaging our equipment again no that was lag definitely definitely lag oh yeah that's De what it is definitely I don't know what you're talking about. Did it come to the garden? No problem. <laughs> if you're interested in joining in on our multiplayer server, just drop a note here in chat. And we hook you up. We hook you up long time. And that the 830 beside the uh, track loaders is just insane. Right. The this makes it look so <laughs> tiny. Like a little baby loader. I'm bringing this 830 up as well. Okay. Because we can use it. Whoop, 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 oh, whoop, for whoop, sure. Whoop, whoop. Well, that'll put us in, putting us bringing down 8, 1.8 million liters at a time. Something like that, I think. So it's a lot of pay. That is a lot of pay. All right, come on. Where are you guys going? I think I dumped like five or six dump truck loads in. Holy oh, crap. Nice. We've made some money today. You're good. Oh, oh God. I got you. Those logs uh, are quite... A logging operation going on here. That's right. Yep, just watch out for the enormous trucks coming through your uh, logging area. That's okay. We don't mind. <laughs> You're not in our way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's turn this beast around. Did we ever check the concentrate in here? No, I didn't. How much we got, Chief? 271. 271,000 liters of concentrate? Yep. All right, Uber, we need to take a quick pause and go down and start moving concentrate buckets into the gold room. If you want to spawn those, 
we'll come down and help you load them in because it's going to take a long time. Oh, yeah. Let me know when you got them spawned and I'll teleport down there. Meanwhile, I'm going to eat this mountain. Coming in your middle. Gotcha. Like a glove? Like a glove. How cool does this look? Only we had a third. Do you, you want to move? Do you want to load into the middle or to the far left one and I'll hit the middle one since this one's yep. near me is full? Yep, Thank that'll work. Thank you. Oh, I screwed that up a little bit. You got those uh, concentrate spawn, Duber? Okay. Yep. All right. Let's all go down there and start moving yep. stuff over. It'll be... Easier yeah. when we're done. Well, I've actually I'm gonna come down and bring a bring a six hundred thousand liters of good stuff. Fifteen pallets of concentrate. So we're gonna stick this in that right dump spot. Right yeah, right side of the gold room. I've noticed if you just hold it over where it says concrete, concentrate, it typically takes it a little bit better than the dumping emblem for some reason. Yeah. This one looks like it got knocked off of there a little bit. All right, all the concentrate is loaded up. Fun story, I actually have two bags of painter in my garage. There's a lot of paint for gold. Yeah? Actually do it. Nice. Load in, baby. So every thousand liters of concentrate gives us 700. I'm gonna do some math right quick. Which I almost failed it twice, so let's see what happens. Thousand, so that'd be 200. So we'd have 140,000 liters of gold flakes. Yep, my math is completely off. Never mind. Never how many? How much? How much concentrate do we have? Uh, two hundred forty-seven thousand liters, something like that. Or no, it was like it was upwards. Of, I think it was like two eighty. It was and upwards get, of three hundred. So we get and we get seven hundred gold for every thousand liters. Seven fifty per thousand. Yes. Seven fifty. So that's point seven five. So if we had three hundred. Three quarters of that would be two twenty-five. Sounds good to me. Yeah, I'm down. I take the money. Oh yeah. Wait, so how many how many liters of bars did we did we sell Monday night? You said three hundred something thousand. I think it was like three sixty-one. Holy crap. Oh, I 
the way that hit, I thought you were going to dump it alongside of it. I thought, oh, Honestly, no, it's going to miss. I thought I was about to dump in both trucks. Can you even do that? I don't know. Is that even fire? possible? We're about to try because I just interested in myself. But watch this. It's probably going to dump right in the middle of both trucks. Yeah, I'll lift them both up off the ground. Yep. Oh, no. Wow. How did I know? <sighs> did it? Yep. <laughs> well, at least it's predictable. Yep, at least we know. Yeah, now we know. And knowing is half the battle. Right. Oh god, that was scary. If you're gonna put that one in the last the floor, bucket. Alright, cool. I think that's it for all of them, right? Yeah. Yep. Lag, 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 lag. No Holy. Such... Holy lag oly. If I can't hop on Friday, I might tinker. On this. Maybe if, if you don't mind, though, I might hop on Saturday for like an hour or two. Just do a little bit since I can't be on Friday. Yeah, Unless I mean, don't, it, don't, run it. don't knock yourself out. I mean, if, if we're behind on something, but I think we're going to have so much money, dude, that okay. we're not going to have to sweat anything. So okay, I might just not even. Yeah. I'll probably would just wait till Monday, then. Or, you know, if something crazy is going on and we want to get something done, you know, we could all maybe get on on Saturday at some time. I yeah. want to, we might, you know, we might have an opportunity to get more people involved on the weekend, too. That would be cool. Because um, it would be nice to have a setup to where, like, you know, a couple of people could be doing excavating, a couple of people could be doing forestry, other people are hauling things back and forth between whatevers, you know. Mm hmm if I was the log trailer, where would I have gone? Oh, dude, I didn't think you were going to use the trailer. I just pulled it down here out of the way. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll bring it back. All these logs are ready to pick up. There's like a field of them. Did we ever get those other logs down where we cleared that landslide? Uh, no, they're actually still sitting there. Nope, oh, yeah, we're going to have to go back and get those, too. Yeah, yeah we got... Yeah, once I do that, uh, absolutely not. Alright, I'm going to take the slash truck load down and I'm going to uh, hit the hay. Alright, man, sounds good. Good work uh, getting that cut done on the right side there. It sure. looks really good. Yeah, um, you have to 
run me through again what you plan on doing. Like, are you trying to connect where I just dug out to your to the road we already have built, or are you just gonna make a whole new wraparound with that? Um, you know, I think we're gonna we're gonna end up lowering part of the road over here, so we're gonna need to lower some of the road over here. So I think we're just gonna have to play it by ear on Friday or Monday. And see how it how it pans out because I mean, it's kind of like we're not really going to know what's happened until we get into it and start dinking around sure. with it, you know. You know, I originally thought we were just going to cut this whole mountain down and then we'll just remake a road, but we might eventually. Whichever happens, but we've got we've got so much to do right now. Yep. I mean, well, we I get should. You make a small fortune i hope we can plateau up enough area up here where we can put that town up here for five and a half million bucks yeah, that would be cool. cool that would be sweet our own little mountain town because i believe that town actually has a cell point as well for a gold i believe that spawns a bank as well in that little town there oh that would be nice so it'll be kind of like a little bit of a closer cell point i mean we could build our own bank we could I mean, we can literally buy our own bank now if we wish. <laughs> yep. That's crazy. I hope you load these trucks up, and then I'll help. Probably just go get that concentrate good, and then I'm probably going to... Oh, I did it. Oh, sweet. Yeah. What happened? That. Oh, that's what happened. I am awesome. I am awesome. I am so awesome. Did you get it to unflip? So I came around right. the corner going a little too hot with a load of logs, rolled the trailer, and then started sliding down the mountain. <laughs> uh, Roll over counter. No. No, because if you land down your if you land up right, it doesn't count. It's That's technically not a rollover. But for a minute. I mean, you rolled over, though, right? Yeah, but if you roll all the way over, it, you cancel it out. Especially if you can drive back up the mountain with an entire load of logs <laughs> under your own power. <laughs> then all errors are instantly erased. <laughs> you on your screen. He's going for his first uh, no crash, no roll overnight. Oh, I've had him before. Oh, yeah? Yep, uh, once. <clears throat> but I think, now that I'm thinking, it's just easier to go get to the road over here. Because now we have the road open over here. Isn't that right. neat? That is correct. Just going down under gravity power right now. So this paycheck in coming will be to pay off leases. Yeah, and we don't have that. Many? We don't have that much leased equipment right now. Yeah, really, it's just these nine ninety fours and these eight thirties, right? That's pretty much it. I think I even bought a couple eight thirties already. Oh wow! So we're pretty much just. Yep. I think it's nine ninety fours. We'll get a couple road graders. Yep. Now that we're doing some heavy duty road work. I'm ready to see that, uh, what do you call those excavators, like the, the ones with the, that bucket, uh, yeah, humongous one, is that like a shovel, or is that yeah. a, yeah, that's a shovel, or? I think they're called, technically, they, I mean, they used to be called steam shovels, but now, you know, they're not steam powered anymore, cables and stuff that's like, connects to the bucket, don't it, mm -hmm. yeah, I've, that's, I've never seen one of those, in game, or in person, yeah, I haven't, I've seen them in person, but I haven't seen one in game, there's one, there's a giant one of those things uh, sitting out in the middle of a field in Kansas, rusting away to nothing. And it's because really? when they got done with the mining job, it was too costly to move the thing anyplace else. It served its purpose, so they just left it there. They turned it into a museum. 
you can kind of go look at the, see the thing and the like i don't think it's a museum but there's like a museum that talks about the history of it and everything yeah yep. it may might have inside america it was like a that's some giant equipment there it was like a d it was like a a kill dozer like not the one obviously but like the right what is it like a d375 i think something like that. I'm, I'm not sure they're big d50 yeah, humongous i don't know it was a combat. I D3 don't know my. I keep saying I'm gonna get off, but I'm having too much fun. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Dump here. Boom. Get out. Store wood. Boom. Let's do it again. Oh my God. Holy crap, there's more logs there. There's logs everywhere. Yeah, we got a lot of logs. I was busy. We should grab another logging trailer. That tractor, that logging tractor that we've got up there with the arm and the winch does not have a rear three-point, correct? Uh, no. Okay. We'll get another JCP. No, it doesn't. Okay. Must be pretty good in first year, huh? At least in this. What's up? Is there pretty good money in forestry in Farmson? Yeah. Yeah. Wood nice. can be super expensive. Like I, I know at least like on the silver run map you get depending on what type of tree you cut and how long you cut it, you get more money. There's a lot of science into it that's That's cool. Yeah, and there's like Four or five different kinds of wood. This yeah. map, every single tree is the same, so is what it is. Yeah. I guess it wasn't necessarily intended for. Well. Yeah. Oh. Finally maxed it out. One night we need to do a uh, truck counter, see how many loads we load. And total up how much pay we all. That would be cool to see. There. Oh, man. Sleep's about to be amazing. You might. I mean, I gotta check the marketplace, see if my thing's sold right quick. And then I'm off. Right on. Yeah, I'm gonna bounce here after I come park. You know, I haven't been thinking, Uber, we've got the truck down here with the giant wood chipper on it we could just bring that up there and chip trees right up there uh, that's probably a good idea honestly <laughs> like okay that. yeah exactly like oh yeah, man can i put the wood chips that are in here in the crusher yes i can they go right in beautiful so we could store them in the crusher and use the crusher to distribute to the pallet or to the pellet plant. Thanks. All right. So. All righty, guys. I'll, uh, I don't. I ain't gonna be on Friday, so. Okay. Guys, Monday. All right. Have a good one. Um, check in with me over the weekend. Who knows? Maybe if uh, schedules work out, we might hop on and knock something out over the weekend. Sounds good. It'll be Sunday before I'm on. 
probably. Okay. Because I'll okay. come back from the beach Sunday, so. Oh, nice. We'll, uh, Have fun. If we don't do anything this weekend, I'll see you guys Monday. Sounds good, man. Oh, Thank yeah. you so much for your work. Yep, Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. I'm also out of here. All right. I'm bringing the... Uh, I'm going to bring the... Wood chipper up there, and then I'm going to bring the logging trailer up there because we just got to, I mean, we still got to put them in this wood chipper in order to get them chipped. Yeah. So. Okay. Uh, see you probably this weekend. All right. right sounds Friday. good. Yeah, Friday for sure. Uh, you said you'll be late, though? Uh, I'll let you know. I'm, uh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, just keep me posted. No big deal if you are. We can just push it back. All right, cool. yeah. All right, man. Yep. Bye. All right. Well, we're going to finish things up here. Um, I think I'm going to make a run to the bank. Well, we're not going to do it tonight. We'll do it Friday. We'll make a run to the bank on Friday. And that should take care of it. to recover. Escaping to fix this real quick.
All right. I think that's going to do it for us tonight. We'll load. What do we got? 23,000 liters of concentrate, which we'll leave for tomorrow. Two hundred eighty-one thousand liters of gold bars. When is our best time for gold bars? August. And we are May. We're gonna need money before then, but <coughs> we'll be in pretty good shape. We should make 300,000 gold bars before the end of the night, which currently it's $4.6 million. So I think we're in good shape. Out. We can turn you off. Perfect. We are full. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for this episode of Gold Mining Yukon Valley. On behalf of Uber and Andrew Farms, I want to say thank you for tuning in. Big shout out to OVEX19, Nick Melvin, for tuning in and dropping in a chat. Again, thanks, Nick, for the uh, subscribe and the like and the reminder bell ring. And uh, we'll be back on on Friday night with the next episode of mining the Yukon Valley at sometime between 7.30 and 8 p.m. on Friday. I'll be back tomorrow night with another episode of The Rancher on the Black Mountain Montana map. Appreciate everyone for tuning in. Thanks so much. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.